Back on HQ Post Game, Kirk Cousins oh, sounding off after a um, unbelievable win. And, uh, just proud of the way we kept playing, kept fighting. We leaned on each other. It was really a team win. We needed special teams, needed defense, needed offense, and needed all phases of football within our uh, uh, different uh, you know, parts of the team to be able to win. So uh, just proud of the way we played, proud of the way we found a way to win, and uh, we can build on that. And I think it'll build some character and some resolve in our group. And um, uh, really looking forward to... Uh, you know, building on that up ahead because we got a short week against a really good opponent now, which is the way the NFL is. So, uh, take any questions you have. The mindset you had as a team going down there that final drive. Talk just the confidence you guys showed to help much of that confidence came through for that team and for you for that yeah, you know, we protected well. Um, guys were dialed in on their routes and uh, made plays. Um, you know, the coverage structures, you're kind of wanting to see, okay, how are they going to play this? And they obviously are willing to surrender some yards. They just can't give up that, that final touchdown. So felt like, um, you know, the first throw was pretty contested, but then had a couple where it felt like they were allowing us to be able to, to throw things uh, underneath or down the field as long as we weren't getting over their heads. And then as we got closer, I thought, okay, now the coverage is going to tighten. And that was really where it was so important that uh, Drake was able to win the front pylon there because, um, you know, we were uh, we were getting tighter where now it was going to be, you know, tight throws. As the guy who comes in here as, as the big free agent acquisition, I wonder if it's these moments that you feel the pressure to go out and validate that, or do you think that way? That's not how I think. Yeah, I'm just trying to play football, help our teammates win, get out of here with a win, enjoy playing, enjoy the competition, enjoy the, the challenge, the opportunity, the resolve you have to have, trying to rally. Um, having fun with that and uh, hopefully being able to, you know, give other guys great opportunities. And um, so that's really where my mind goes. I understand there were a few you like that in the locker room after the, <laughs> after the game. I wonder if you can circle back to any moments in your career. We've had a similar drive, a similar moment that maybe, you know, got the ball rolling with a certain group or a certain team. Yeah, you know, it's, it's so important to find ways to win, and, and that's how you put together a great season is, you know, when you have these games that could go either way, you find a way to have it break your way. Um, and that's the way this league is. And so when we can find those inches, it, it can really change the tail of the season. So um, we're going to have more of those up ahead, and, and we're going to have to keep, uh, you know, as a whole team, finding ways to, uh, to make the plays to uh, get it done. And it wasn't just – I mean, it's Koo making the long extra point. It's – it's our defense standing up at the end, too. And I've been a part of games where you go down and score and then you walk out of here with a loss because you miss that extra point and you go to overtime or you don't get the stop at the end. So it really does take everybody to uh, to find a way to come out of here with a win. In that game situation, does it feel like you all weren't thinking it was just less win it because we, we have to win, so much less, less thinking, I should say, more so than just you're all... Yeah, well, anytime you have a six-point deficit, um, you're, there's not much you're trying to hold on to. You know, if you're playing with a tie game, you know, maybe you got to be more aware of the negative play that could give the team the ball back in good field position. But when you're down six, um, you can certainly, you know, go for broke. And uh, um, But gave us and move our way down the field, and we were able to get some chunks that basically got us down there low enough where the clock wasn't really our enemy um, and did a good job of getting guys out to the sideline and getting them out of bounds. But... Um, uh, still had to make that play, you know, in tight coverage at the end, and that's where I was so proud of Drake for the route he ran and the way he separated and made it easy on me. Did you all feel like you all unlocked some things on the offense today? Yeah, you never know. Uh, I think it, it's always play to play, week to week. You just, you can never say, oh, we unlocked things and now it's going to be this or that way. No, you just keep fighting every play, and, um, you know, you never know what the next snap's going to bring. Several of the players said that you were chill during that last drive. You have several young players. Um, why, was it, how, why was it important for you to keep the team calm during that last drive? Well, I just kind of go through my process pretty methodically. Um, if we're down by 30, up by 30, or in a tight game, you just have your reads, your process, your footwork, your snap count, your play clock. You're just going through your process and trying to find the open guy. And, um, um, you know, there's, there's so much I, we need to do better from this game, but uh, grateful for the way the, re the result worked out. Kirk, what kind of conversations, if any, did you have with Zach after the game? And is there any play you can think of that was relevant to me, the voice notes you sent him, where you talked about a concept on a voice note and then you executed a play on that tonight? Um, no, you know, it was, it was pretty straightforward, but no, he was great. He, he, he was his usual self, calm, and, and we were on the same page throughout the game and uh, just shook each other's hand in the locker room afterwards. Obviously, we're thrilled with the re result, but uh, we're going to keep building a rapport. I think that it's a work in progress to, um, 
you know, I'm excited about more time on task together, not just with Zach, but with TJ as my quarterback coach, with my teammates. Just every rep out there, we're learning more about each other, and it's going to make us a better offense over the course of the year. All right, no big celebration, no proclamations, no guarantees, just Kirk Cousins in a polo. He has remained steadfast in his wardrobe, but he has flipped the script on what this man does on Monday Night Football. Started 0-9. That stench has since left. 4-1 his last five starts, including this improbable win in Philadelphia.